What's up, you guys? Ready to be here with some more Game of Thrones Episode 4. Let's get back into it. Ah, back in Iron Wrath. Ooh. Ooh, getting prepared. Roderick is coming back here. He's definitely healed up. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying no. in the mud and letting people walk all over you? No, You're actually. speaking to your lord, Sir Royman. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Even so, it set a precedent. You don't stand a chance against Griff right now. Not in a fair fight. And I think you know that. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? Okay. I'll show you. Ooh. Okay. Come at me. Okay. That's a sharp blade there. Come. And ooh. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Gotcha. Oh, E is what I was supposed to do. It's usually down when I have to drop down. Let's try it again. Yeah, let's. Sorry about that. E. Oh, there we go. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> Think you let me? Oh! Definitely not the spy. Can't. My lord. Can he? Sorry to interrupt. Lena. Lena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Who's with her? Lady Elena. I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Oh, Talia. Don't you? Don't Roderick. you killed her anyway? Can I speak with you? Privately. Sure. You remember my little brother? Quiver? Yeah. Good gods, you've grown. <laughs> you could just call me Arthur now. <laughs> I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else oh, to what do. Maybe this was a bad idea. But I really had no other choice. Lord okay. Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you. And, and that my sister would make a fine reward. Oh. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean? He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered. Oh along my with you. God. I can't do this for everyone. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant pig eyed prick. You can't marry him to House Whitehill. We'll end up on opposite sides of a war. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for nice, you to rip open. I like that metaphor. We have to get rid of him. Um, I yeah, can't think of any I know other that. Way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around wolf. that. Whoa. Whoa. I brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're huh. yours, if you'll help us take down Griff. Oh, this changes the whole guard. Twenty this men. This makes a big change. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. Oh. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Dwight, he'll still have my little brother. Hurt Griff. There's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. 
I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I actually I like you, that. Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. This changes Griff the won't table see it quite a bit. My men are yours to command. Mm. This is interesting. Okay. Thank you, Griff. Arthur. <laughs> Could you give us a moment? This is actually really interesting. Because now that I have these 20 good men, archers, swordsmen... You don't know how much this means to me. Fight back. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Ooh. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. Hey, Elena won't forget that. Not that she'll remember. It always says that, that that person will remember that. But Elena won't forget that. Mm. All right, Roderick. We did it for him. Hey, look at those nice painted backgrounds. God, it's a beautiful game. Mira. Can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. <laughs> Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> oh. Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be here today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. I his brother too. Not to I mention put Cersei and Jamie. Sure. Oh, the Lannisters have spies everywhere. Definitely marrying that brother. It is a little odd that this takes place like what is before. it Tom? remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick about White Hills contact did you find anything only whispers but your brother's right blood White Hill hey what up bro cool now we can talk blood blood White Hill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing he's definitely up to something something big well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Yeah, I don't want to put it Lord down. Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not uh, exactly happy with me yeah, right now. Yep. Yeah. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. Uh, She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Sarah's not really happy with me either. Some things I may have said. Well, Tough. if you need Sarah to get you in there, you might as well try, right? Hope so. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. Thank you, Tom. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. <laughs> no kidding. Lot to think about with this game. Back at the wall, Garrett. How you doing, Garrett? Feeling, feeling good? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing out here? No. There's leftovers on each cake in the kitchen. Imagine. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom mm. in the morning. Yep. Is that the one who killed Brit? Ed, it is. Well, Brit sucked anyway. He's not going anywhere. Come on. Back before anyone notices. Oh, right. maybe just a quick bite. He's smart to freeze to death out here. Anyway. Come on, Cotter. Cotter's got to help me out. We know where to go. In the mouth, right there. Bottom left. Middle left ish, I guess, really. Well, stack of onions. Oh, find a way out. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. It would be nice. If I ever find a way out of here. Just open the door, I guess. A rusty trowel. Also helpful to have. That might be useful. Something. 
Bucket? Anything in the bucket? Piss bucket? Must be the latrine. Yeah. I'm not sticking around to use it. Anything else in here? Can't just open the door. Look at the sand. Just sand. Okay. Uh, my blanket. Probably covered with fleas. Alright, uh, well. You're not wrong. Scraps of wood. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Uh, could I use the trowel on the door? Don't know what I expected. <laughs> Look at the door is the last thing I could do. No one out there. Not Cotter, not nothing. The hole in the wall. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. Uh, ooh, a loose stone. Use the trowel with it. Or nah. Garrett! Oh. Cotter. Cotter. What are you doing here? I knew I heard him talking. Out. You're to be executed in the morning. Uh, what about Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Uh, or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do oh, it. God damn it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Thanks, You'd Cotter. be executed too. Why would you want to help I'm me? Escaping. I told you my secret. Yeah. And you said you were my friend. It's true, I am. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? Aww. So I'm getting you out of here. You're a good man. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. <laughs> I want you to take me with you to the North Grove. All right. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're, going you're doing north, a lot for me. I'm coming with you. I, I will gladly take you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. Well, let me see what I can do. Garrett, what are you doing? I'm getting out of here. Sure. Chip. 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 I can see it. It is coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, all right? Q. E. Yeah. I hope no one heard that. Hope so too. Hey, can you fit through? I think. Taking Finn with us too. Well, Under there, Garrett. Hi, okay. <laughs> shit scared me. Definitely got to Oh shit! Fit. Aren't you two idiots lucky I'm not frost for shit? Come on. I thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. Am I glad to see you? I'm the sword in the darkness. Oh, the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. Think... You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frost Finger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he is? You run off with the potato fucker over here. Oh, come on. I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Can't yeah, both good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade no, outside. Finn's Having coming. another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. Look. We'll talk later. Move. He might get sour and tell on us if 
doesn't come. So he's coming with us. Do you like it or not, Connor? He's been good to me. There's no turning back now. In the mountain. We're deserters for sure. Fine. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty too. Shit. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. Mm. Oof. And I mean to do it's it. It's true. Vows aren't going to Ain't stop. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. Oh. They know we're gone now. Gotta go. Then how fast can you run? Away from the horses, too. I imagine they're gonna have horses when we won't. Alright, there we go. Whew. Alright, we have escaped Castle Black. We are taking Finn and Cotter with us. Don't care what Cotter thinks. Finn is probably pretty essential to what we're going to need. You know, he's good in a fight, and he's been very good to me. As long as they don't fight each other too much, we should be fine. So, with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>